the developer previews may be here, but that doesn't mean it's too late to draw up our own Android 11 wishlist. So with that in mind, here are 10 things we'd love to see in the full version of Android 11. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and enable notifications with the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. The gestures added Android 10 are great, but they have a few fatal flaws, especially with hamburger side menus. We think it would be great if Google could add some customization options for the back gesture that would allow you to disable, for instance, the right side of the display or have a hot zone, kind of like how gestures were first added to Android 10 on OnePlus devices and then subsequently removed. It would really help when navigating and allow you to get to those side menus with no issues. Some third party apps can do this and Google's own Gboard has a clipboard manager, but how about a system wide clipboard manager that you can scour for things you've copied and pasted in past? That would be a real winner and would save so much hassle. Backups really need a bit of work on Android wholesale as there is no complete backup solution like on iOS. If you are a Google One subscriber, you can back up MMS messages from the Proto full backup, but it would be great to be able to have a proper wholesale backup solution that allows you to control which apps, services and content gets backed up, therefore making it easier to switch devices or restore your device when needed. We think it's a crying shame that we don't have a dedicated one-handed mode on Pixel phones or within the core Android builds as there are so many good implementations from Samsung and others that are wonderful to use. Considering that phone screens are getting larger and the sheer volume of Google's accessibility options, a dedicated one-handed mode would be a sure fire winner. Even with voice match enabled, it's incredibly frustrating not being able to use the Google Assistant without first unlocking your device. It's about time that Google removed the block and let us control smart home devices and more without needing to unlock. Plus, it would be great for drivers, making it much safer to control your phone without touching the display. The theming options added in Android 10 are great, but could be enhanced even further by allowing us a little more control, like changing the accent colors manually, adding new fonts and even icon packs for the inbuilt theme presets. In our opinion, it doesn't need too much work, it doesn't have to be a third party launcher, but a few more theming options wouldn't go amiss. Auto rotate is pretty terrible as is, so it would be great to have proper contextual auto rotate that will adapt properly when your device is tilted. Things like entering full screen landscape on YouTube when you turn your device rather than relying on you to tap the screen, or knowing that you're in landscape in the camera and altering the UI accordingly. It will be even easier using the face unlock tech pack in the Pixel 4 too. We think it would be great to be able to jump straight into specific settings within the camera app with shortcuts on your home screen. For instance, you could create a shortcut for night sight or portrait mode for instance. Heck, it would even be excellent for camera modes too, saving time when fleeting moments beg to be captured and you're trying to decide between 1080p and 4K. Overall, we think it would be a great little addition. This one is a little harder to explain, but it would be great in Android 11 if you could have further controls on how you stay or connect to Wi-Fi automatically. You can already disconnect if internet is slow or limited. Well, how about connecting to a network only when mobile data is low or if you're in a specific area? This would be especially useful for people not wanting to connect to Wi-Fi networks unless necessary. Let's hope that Android 11 finally sees Google unleash the desktop mode for Android, which means we could finally have a great Chrome OS-like experience by plugging your phone into a monitor and hooking up a Bluetooth keyboard or mouse, therefore turning it into a little productivity package in your pocket. So that was 10 features and refinements that we'd love to see in Android 11 come the full release. If you agree, disagree, or have some of your own, then be sure to put them down in the comment section below, as we love hearing your own ideas. With that said though, this is Damien with 95Google saying thanks for watching, but until next time, I will speak to you later.